your interactions, your credit card swipes, web searches, locations, likes. They're all collected in real time into a trillion dollar a year industry. It's expressed explicitly in the new documentary, The Great Hack. Data is the oil industry of the 21st century. The biggest companies on earth are companies that mine data and utilize data in lots of different ways, some of them nefarious. This is a documentary that examines companies like Cambridge Analytica, which works with data mining and with all of the sort of collection of information that exists on the internet and turn it around and flip it around and actually change behaviors. And through the use of propaganda and through the use of very targeted information, been able to do all kinds of insidious things, not the least of which is infiltrate and sort of affect the outcome of the 2016 United States election, as well as the Brexit movement that has been happening in the UK. They'd worked for the Trump campaign and and for the Brexit campaign. They started using information warfare. In this documentary, we examine how Cambridge Analytica and companies like that are really creating a sense of unease in the world and governments are trying to mobilize quickly to adapt and deal with companies like this. And we also examine what it means on day-to-day -day lives. And we follow a few different key people in this, although it's kind of a wide berth and lots of supporting players pop up in this, including the CEO of Cambridge Analytica. But but primarily we're focused on Brittany Kaiser, who was an employee with SCL, the parent company of Cambridge Analytica. Brittany Kaiser, once a key player inside Cambridge Analytica, casting herself as a whistleblower. We also get to meet David Carroll, who is this professor who is trying to win back and get back all of his data that has been mined by Cambridge Analytica and going to court to sue this company to get a full understanding of the comprehensive data points that this company has collected. And we see his work in progress through the course of the doc. And we also meet Carol Cadwallader, who is a journalist who was really at the forefront of breaking this news about Cambridge Analytica, which subsequently went out of business after lots of government probing and lawsuits and people being threatened with jail time and a lot of finger pointing that happened with Cambridge Analytica. And we get some undercover video that shows that these guys were up to some pretty nefarious things and working with different regimes and different kinds of people and effectively saying, look, we have, we have all of this information and we've got and, you know, proof positive we've put a lot of these platforms through before and we can help your platform. We can help get your people elected in your government and it's creepy as hell. We targeted those whose minds we thought we could change until they saw the world the way we wanted them to. This doc doesn't really show us a world that we're not aware of, especially if we've been reading the news or following a lot of this information. Certainly Facebook is constantly in the news for privacy breaches and their sort of ambivalent attitude around protecting everything everybody's privacy out there. There's concern about how much information Google has and Amazon has. Certainly this dialogue is very interesting, but when it comes to creating a documentary that is authoritative and fully fleshed out and has a complete understanding of what's happened, how we've solved a lot of these issues and where we go from here, that's not what we get out of The Great Hack. It's more of like, these are the concerns that the world has and we should all be shocked and we should be very cautious and careful with the way that data is being utilized. We should be in the know. And one of the things that they examine in here is the way that Cambridge Analytica would create propaganda, not attach any branding to it, but it looked like news clippings or photographs that you would see on a news site. And they would just let it loose into the Twitter sphere and the, the social media services out there. And they would watch people just churn this out there. And of course, they would work with all kinds of services to kind of seed this material out there. But they would watch as this false information and they would create groups to pit against other groups. And it was all under the auspices of trying to change behavior and patterns and it was effective and it's gross and it's scary, but we're still in the middle of it. We're still, you know, living this day to day. So this documentary, although it's shocking and it, it should be something that gets us to, you know, rise up with a call to action, it has a tough time kind of being retrospective or being a definition of what happened because it's still happening. So it's kind of like a in real time conversation. Some of those votes were made by people who had seen fake news stories paid for by Russia on their Facebook page. What's interesting and fascinating about this is we see the humans behind some of these very, very large scale movements and challenges that we have with social media and data mining. 
and we see the people and the personalities and what happens to them. And Brittany Kaiser is a very enigmatic kind of nut to crack. We don't quite know what her motivations are. She's kind of turning against Cambridge Analytica and rising up and speaking up about the insidious things that the company was doing, but it almost looks like she's doing it to serve her own purposes. It's a little bit pretentious. There's a little bit of like trying to channel the artiest docs you've ever seen, but I did dig the fact that there would be shots of people walking down the streets and you would see people on phones and you'd just see their data footprints just sort of filtering into the sky, into the cloud. We're leaving these crazy trails and there are people out there collecting those trails and they're doing all kinds of crazy things with that stuff. And it's a lot to kind of grapple with, it's a lot to understand, and it's a lot to reconcile. You sit back after you watch this and, and you think about the things that you like and the things that you comment on and the things that you let filter into your life and how much of that has been manufactured and crafted for you so that it puts you in this little box so that you have specific purchasing patterns and voting patterns in a specific direction. And all of it is being shaped by incredibly intelligent algorithms and and computer scientists, and not all of them have our best interests as a society at heart. It's sobering, but it's not definitive because it's still happening. It's still going on. These cases are still in courtrooms. These elections are still being questioned. These decisions that a lot of the highest levels of government around the world are making are still things for us to grapple with and understand. Data is the most valuable asset on earth. Definitely check this out if you are fascinated by the digital world that we live in. I'm going to give The Great Hack an 8.5 out of 10.